Today I'm going to explain to you step by step how you can make a good color correction without using any plugins whatsoever so it's completely free which will not only boost the quality of your edits by a lot but also will increase the chances of you going viral. So this is definitely a tutorial you don't want to miss out on and as always we're going to have to use After Effects for this so let's not waste any time and get right into it. Okay so once we're in After Effects you're obviously going to have to get your clip where you want to put the CC on. In my case it's just going to be a clip by Jesse Pinkman and the first thing you want to do is add a new adjustment layer on top of the clip and to do that just head to the top row and under layers select new one and click adjustment layer. Now the reason why we want to put our CC on top of an adjustment layer instead of the actual clip is so that all the clips below the adjustment layer are actually getting affected by the CC. So it's going to be pretty straightforward and way easier to apply it to all the clips at once. And the first effect that we actually want to put onto our CC is the sharpen effect, which is just going to overall sharpen up the image that we have. And to edit, just go to your effects and presets panel and search for the sharpen effect. Once you found it, make sure to drag it onto the adjustment layer. And we're going to put the value from 0 up to 50. How the sharpen effect works is pretty easy. It just puts the contrast between pixels in your video up and therefore increases the detail and makes it look way sharper. This mainly can be applied to edges in your clip and adding it will definitely make a noticeable difference. But be careful, don't go too high on this value because it might just increase the graininess of your clip. I like to keep it in the middle, so I'm going to put 50. Once you added that, we're going to go ahead to the next effect, which is going to be instead of sharpen and unsharpen mask. Just go ahead and drag it onto your clip and put the amount from 50 down to 40 and the radius from 1 up to 20. Now you might wonder why after adding a sharpen effect, we're going to add an unsharpen effect right after. But don't worry, it will make sense in a second because the unsharpen mask doesn't actually make your clip unsharpen, but it will rather create a mask around the new clip and by making that one unsharpened, it will increase the quality of your original clip. And after that process, it will be blended together, so you won't be able to see a quality loss at all, but it will rather result in you having a way higher quality and way more noticeable detail. As you might be able to see, when we disable the layer, we can already tell that we have a lot of quality boost. But buckle up, because we're nowhere near the end yet. Now, to make the clip appear a bit more brighter, we're going to add exposure. So go to your effects and presets panel and search for exposure. Drag it onto your adjustment layer and put the exposure value that's currently set at 0 from 0 to 0 0.35. As I said, this will just make your clip a bit brighter and it might not seem like a lot of difference but trust me all these little things add up onto each other and at the end will make the best result so follow all the steps i'm giving you okay so next up we're going to play around with the lighting a bit so we can make it seem a bit more realistic and have it result in better quality and to do that we're going to search for the cc vignette effect right onto your adjustment layer and for the settings we're just going to leave them how they are and by adding the vignette what we basically do is add a little shadow around the object which in my opinion puts a great focus on the actual scene that's going on and will increase the quality by a lot there's different ways of doing it i always like to use this effect because is pretty straightforward and results in the best possible outcome. And by the way, if you want to see a full coloring guide with all the plugins that there are, make sure to scroll down and smash the like button right now because if you had 2k likes on this video, I'm going to make a full dedicated coloring guide including all the plugins that are available. So it's up to your own hands if you want to see that, like. Enough yapping, let's continue with the next effect. For the next effect, we're going to search for curves and again apply it to our adjustment layer. Now how you adjust this effect is really going to be dependent on what clip you use because this effect changes the tonal range of your clip using a curve. So depending on how your clip looks, it's going to change the value that you want to put in here. In my case, I just want to make the clip a tiny little bit brighter because for me now, it just appears pretty dark. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this linear line a bit above the curve and down below here as well. So it just looks like this. Make sure to play around with these settings a bit while looking at your live preview so you can get the best results ever. And once you adjusted them to your liking, we're going to add the next effect, which is going to be brightness and contrast. So just search for that and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now this effect we're mainly just going to use for the contrast. I'm not going to use the brightness setting on here because we already have made our clip bright enough. But if you want to add some extra brightness to your clip because maybe it's darker than mine, then you can also use this setting on here. But as I said, mine is already good. I'm just going to put the contrast from 0 up to 20. Now by using the brightness and contrast effect to adjust our contrast, we're going to target our whole layer, not just individual channels. So it impacts highlights, midtones, and shadows at once. This makes it basically the easiest way to adjust your contrast and you don't have to deal with all these certain channels. Now next up we're going to use hue slash saturation to increase the saturation. Now the value that we want to target in here is the master saturation. I don't want to put too much so I'm just going to put it from 0 up to 5. And as I said before it's the little changes that make the actual difference. But what the setting changes is basically just the intensity of the color. Meaning that the higher you go the more intense the colors are going to be. The lower you go obviously the lower it's going to be. But now I wonder what's more saturated this effect or CapCut velocity edits. Anyways let's stick to color correction. And after we added the setting we're actually done so let's just look at the before and after this is with coloring and this is without so i hope you finally realize on how much quality you have been missing out while not using a proper color correction and depending on what clip you use it's also very important to always change your settings because the values are going to change for every clip that you have and if you know think man this color correction stuff is so hard i can't be bothered to do it don't worry i know exactly how you feel and that's why i put all my colorings on my shop where currently still is a 70 percent sale going on celebrating new years so make sure to not miss out on that and click the first link in the description to get the best colorings ever for your edits the colorings i offer on there are universal 
them, meaning that you can apply them to every clip. And you don't have to waste 30 minutes of your time every single day just to have a good quality on your edit. Because I know how frustrating it can be after you finish the whole edit. Then be annoyed because you can't find the proper color correction that fits on it. So if you like this quality you can see on screen right now, make sure to check out the first thing in the description. As I said, you can still get 70% off. It's a one-time opportunity, so check it out now. You're not gonna regret this. And if this story was helpful and you gained some knowledge, make sure to let me know in the comments what tutorial you wanna see next. And I bet you subscribe to my channel because only a minority of you guys watching my content are actually subscribed. And I know you watching right now feel pretty guilty because you're not. So just scroll down and do me the favor. It will really mean a lot to me and make my day. And if you're looking for a cool community where you can talk to other editors, get connected and get free stuff, make sure to check out the Discord link in my description. We're a huge community of editors. You can get free scene packs, colorings, or just talk to me, whatever you like. I'm sure I will be seeing you on there. Watch this tutorial if you struggle with quality after uploading to TikTok. And with that being said, I sincerely thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day and see you next time.